Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and Apple has just released the first update to iOS 18 with iOS 18.0.1. Now, even though this is a smaller update that won't bring any new features or changes to your iPhone, you will have to wait for 18.1 for that. It is still a very important update. So you must update your iPhone if you're currently on iOS 18. And I will show you guys five reasons to why I think this is really important and you must update your device right away. Now, first off will be the battery life. Now, of course, with every update, Apple tends to make the battery life better. And usually with initial updates like iOS 18, you might get some battery drain on your iPhone. So installing this new update might give you a slightly better battery life on your iPhone. Even though in my experience with iOS 18, even though I've been through the betas a lot, it still has quite a decent battery life. So you can see right here, we have about 75% battery, 7 hours 17 minutes right here about 70 percent battery 5 hours 30 minutes on a battery here that is currently at 91 percent of battery health though it's actually quite decent but it should be even better by just updating to the new ios 18.0.1 and alongside with the battery improvements, you will also get fixes for UI bugs that are things like animation, stuttering, and things like that, and general glitches on the UI of the new iOS 18. So if you have been experiencing any like glitches, most of them usually will be on the new home screen of iOS 18. Make sure you update your device right away. There are also some things that Apple has actually stated that they have fixed with iOS 18.0.1. And first of them is the touchscreen responsiveness. Now this has been a problem specifically for the iPhone 16 models, but there have been cases other users have also reported of this problem, even though they haven't been using these newer devices, but they have been on all the devices. So basically this would affect the touch screen where you could touch on some places on the screen of your iPhone and it wouldn't respond at all. And that should now be fixed with this new update. There's also another issue with iMessage that has been fixed. Now uh, this issue was here on the messages app where you send a message with a watch face, it would actually crash and sometimes even lead to data loss on iMessage. This has been fixed, has been confirmed by Apple. So now you won't have that problem as long as you have your device updated to the new iOS 18.0.1. Also, the settings app and the mail app have been facing some problems where they would just crash randomly on iOS 18.0. Now that has been fixed for both the messages and the settings app. Now I've seen report of this and I have faced this problem not with the mail app, but with the settings app where it would just crash randomly. This has also been fixed with iOS 18.0.1. So what's next for iOS 18? Well, of course, there will be iOS 18.1 that should be released this month, probably later this month. Now we're expecting Apple to actually have another event this month, and most likely it will be around that event. I'm expecting to be somewhere here on the 21st or the 22nd of, of October. Those should be the date when we can expect iOS 18.1 to be released to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.